Hello and welcome back to Irish Chippy Channel. My name is Pascal. I bought a CNC machine and uh, I bought this uh, 3018 uh, by uh, SignSmart budget one. And I am going to put it together and then we're going to make another video and we're going to make a few things with it. But for now I'm going to show you this is the 2025 version. So it is different than some of the older ones, some of the the assembly of it is different and what it comes with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it all out of the box first. We're going to assemble it here in a few minutes. Yes, first thing you will do is you will check. I have checked that everything that's on it and it tells you how many of each piece we have. It comes with the software on a drive. It comes with some, uh, some uh, V bits and uh, I have some other bits myself then as well. So we are going to go into uh, part two, which is assembly. And uh, we're going to do base insulation and it tells you what you need. I'm going to put it together like the way they show it. Now, uh, before I went through to the other one. Before you do that, measure uh, 46 and a half millimeters along both of these. Okay, and they're go and the, the, put the line on the outside of the end with the big hole. Okay, so we'll do that first. So that one's going to go outside like that, and that one will go outside like that. And now we're going to uh, put some screws in it. Uh, we, we're also going to get the, the bars, the short ones. These ones, we're going to get the, t the two of these, and uh, we are going to uh, we're going to screw them in on one side. So uh, I'm going to screw them in by hand here, but before we put the one on the other end, we're going to put in our our bearing sliders. So we're going to put everything on one end first. Where you drew your line, keep it on the outside because. Uh, we will be, you will see that in a minute while we're doing that. Mm. We will get our, 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 our sliders and we'll put them on like the way they're showing it in here. Like this. Where's the rest of them? I'm not going to tighten them yet. I'm just going to make them a little bit tight. So we're going to screw all that up. When you're putting them in, make sure that the, 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 on the sliders, make sure that the hole is on the outside, on the outside on both sides like this. If, if it's not on the outside, then the table won't be able to go as far as uh, what it should be able to go. In other words, because that hole is nearer to there, if this was the other way, uh, it will not have the same range. So, so make sure all uh, these four are facing that way. So we're going to check it for square, I should say. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to measure from corner to po corner. And that's uh, 474 millimeters. And 474 millimeters. That's square now. We're going to, uh, I'm going to fit these on these like this. And then we're going to turn it upside down and we're going to slide it over it. We, I am hoping to anyway. So, uh, what I'll do is I'll put a couple of these on, just not on the whole way like that, and and uh, and uh, we'll put them on. We'll put the eight of them on. Before I put the top on this, I I, I am going to put the screw and the anti backlash, which is the spring here, and the brass. Uh, we have two of them, one for the other direction as well. But it, it shows you pretty clearly diagram. It shows you pretty clearly, so it goes this way, and. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to screw that in a little bit first. We'll put the brass one in like this. So I'm going to screw it out, and then it's quite, while it's treading into both of them, so that's going to put the spring under tension, no matter where we turn this to. So this is uh, I have this in slightly, like the way it's showing in there. So I'm going to run this up along it, and I'm going to put uh, the screws on this then as well. And then we're going to try and slide the table onto the whole lot together. But before I do that, I am going to put the motor. I'm going to put the stepper motor on, and I am going to put one of the stepper motors on. And according to the diagram. This part here is going to be facing this way because the big hole is here and this one is going to screw on here like this. So I'm going to put the coupling on, on, on this first. So uh, uh, 
the, the, well, obviously there's two sides, but there's a, flat, there's a flat side on the stepper motor. So we're going to put one of them onto, the, uh, onto that first. I'm not going to tighten it right against the motor. I only have it there temporary, and then I'm going to pull it back, uh, I'm going to pull it back a little bit. And then we will tighten the one on the opposite side. So it's on the motor now. It's on. So some people will call these a grub screw. It's called a grub screw in Ireland and in, I think in the UK as well. And I have that one tightened against the flat side. And then I'm going to tighten the one on the opposite side. Not the whole way yet. Now don't over tighten these. These are only small little. They're good. This is aluminum or aluminium and uh, we don't want to damage the thread. I'm going to fit it in here now on this one here like this. Uh, I will need to open the screw a little bit. So I'm going to fit that in there like this where it is at the moment. And uh, I'll twist it around here again and do the other side and then I will tighten them. And then I will screw the, the stepper motor to the Bakelite frame. The wires go into this, it's showing it's coming out on this side. So we're going to turn the stepper motor that way. And then we get the M3 screws, the little M3 screws. We get four of them and we're going to put them in here uh, in, in through the Bakelite into the stepper motor. Now we have screwed the screw, uh, the lead screw, so that we can, uh, that uh, this one is, is near enough the middle, okay? So we're going to attempt to slide this one on. As I said, the four part goes up. Uh, this one goes on this and this, uh, this row here and this row here goes on these. So what I'm going to try and do is slide these in. I'm going to try and do two at a time, obviously. And then we're going to get, once you get one in, I think it's going to be easier for to get the next one in. You have to pull them up a little bit like this and go in along. And then when we get to this one, we will move, we will move this to the middle. And I will uh, just guide this one in, the lead screw ones in. And you have to pull them up. So yeah, it's better to put them in. I'm going to turn it upside down now. To hold it like that and turn it upside down. I'm going to tighten the screws. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that the table uh, is, is level, like the same amount on each side, I should say. But before I do that, I'm going to half tighten them. Here and here. And it's slightly different there. A little bit. And uh, over here. I'm going to move it a little bit like that. And yeah. Yeah, even throwing your eye on it or <laughs> look, look, uh, uh, sighting it up with your eye should, uh, should get you near enough right. So when you have, uh, when you, when you have it uh, nearly right, then you will tighten them up. So then on P, I'm finished tightening them now. Uh, and uh, I will go over everything again before I use the machine to make sure everything is tightened. That's kind of a, a normal way to do it. Uh, on page 14 and 15, it gives you a picture of this. And, and it gives you a picture of it this way around also. So uh, that's the picture, that's the first, that's page 14 and 15 is the one I showed you for that. So uh, now we're going to put on what we, I would call the gantry. Uh, uh, I'm not sure what you call them. They say now to measure in the 46 and a half millimeters, right? We have already measured the 46. The reason I measured it beforehand is I'd rather to measure it before the, the big, before, the, before these ends go on, this end goes on to it. It's easier to measure it across than from there. So what we do is we're going to set it up on its end like this first. Not these T-knots, I thought we were putting them in first, but they actually don't slide in that way first. You put them in this way, and as you turn the screw, uh, it, it, the T-knot turns around itself. So in order to do that, we will have to put them all on. So uh, we will have to put a uh, screw in them all, I should say. So we will, we will, we will put the 16 uh, millimeter screws on them like this. We we'll put the, just leave them sticking out like that and uh, see how it goes. You can turn them a little bit and they will probably go in. And they are all uh, in, they're all uh, in the track now, when they turn. Now I'm going to move this to the line that I made earlier, the 46 and a half millimeter line. 
Now remember, this is the right side of the machine. We are not doing the left side of the machine yet. Now as I turn these, the T-nut will turn as well, see? Now I'm gonna keep this flush on the bottom with my hand, and that means it's going to be square across there, and I have the line there to say that it is almost square, but I'm a half a millimeter away from the line. So I'll just give it a little movement. We don't tighten them the whole way yet. We give them all a little bit of a tightening. That gives the T-knot a chance to turn. A little bit maybe this way. That's it. Now I have it perfect. Yeah, it's the same amount the whole way along there. And we are going to tighten these down. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my lead screw and I'm going to push it. This is already assembled for you. You don't have to assemble this. Uh, it already has the stepper motor on it. I'm going to put the anti-backlash spring in here. In here, like in here, there like that. And we're going to push this in like this with my thumb until it's gone in past it. And then we will screw the lead screw. Now I'm going to put the x-axis motor on here. I have moved this down along on the screw more this end because uh, I, I don't want so much weight down there while we are waiting to put on the other end of the gantry, the support for the gantry. So uh, yeah, we, we tighten this one up the same as we did before. Uh, actually, I skipped through the page. Uh, this connector goes at the back, which is the same as this one. Is here. So we screw these on lightly first and then tighten them up. So next I'm going to, I'm going to put this in here. I, I'm a little bit worried that it's been hanging on that there. If you like, you can put this one on here temporarily like this to hold it like that without screwing it in. Uh, I'm going to put the guide rail in to give it more support, uh, it more strength, uh, because it's holding itself there, okay, like that. And we'll put the other one on here also. And then we will tighten up the grub screws. That. And we will tighten both sides. We can turn it around to tighten the other side. Now, as I said, don't over tighten these, you could end up damaging uh, you could then damage the coupling. As far as I see, they are identical. These are, what are, these are holding the x-axis together. So we have two holes here. I don't know what this one is for, and it's not showing at the moment. When I get into it further, maybe it is for something else, but I, this one goes on the top and the other one goes on the bottom, that's for sure, because if we don't do that, we're not going to have any strength at all. And we're ready to do the other end and we will do the same with this. We will put the screws on this and we will push it in the same as we've done on this end. And we will have, we have our line there, of course. At this time, I am going to uh, keep this on the line and I'm going to hand tighten these. They're a little bit off. Now this is a little bit off. We can see it's a little bit off square. Maybe We tighten up the bars as well, and we tighten up this one here as well. We have the X and the C axis fitted as, as well. So we just tighten all that up. So now I've turned it around for you. I took up the spindle here now, and uh, I'm going to put the, the, the red dot side on this side. I don't think it makes any difference. Now this thing uh, needs a bit of a pulling out to get it in. Uh, you might say, oh, it doesn't fit. But uh, we will see, we will put something in there. We'll put this in like this, and that should go in there like that. And it, of course it does. Now you don't tighten this down too tight. Uh, maybe a... So we make sure that you don't cover the holes here. Uh, we can adjust that later. So I'm gonna tighten that up now. Not too tight now. It's not going into plastic. There is a little, uh, there is a little uh, knot in there, a weak enough knot. But we will tighten it up now tight enough. The, the last thing you want is <laughs> your spindle falling out. 
So we have, uh, yeah, we have most of the mechanical done now, as you can see. We are going to fit the control board. Uh, it, it, this went very, very easy. I'm going to tighten this another little bit. Uh, so far, so good. This went very easy. Uh, so I'm going to do uh, the. I, I'm going to put the electrics in it now, and I'm going to wire up everything. We have some parts left over. Uh, it had extra parts. I'm going to fit the board to the other side, and we're going to use the smaller screws, the ones you were wondering why they are still there. And we're going to use the, the four of these T nuts as well. So we're going to put them into the back. So we put uh, the small T-nuts onto this, just like before the last one we done. And we're going to try and push it in. Like that. And I think we leave about one inch here, maybe one inch. Now the, the, the right way around is when the right thing is the right way around. So you can see there that it's in the axis there. and we tighten them up. We have our wiring, we have uh, these uh, colored ones here, these uh, normal colored ones. These are, for our, uh, these are for our stepper motors, of course. So I'm gonna go around here and see, can I figure out what we're going to do here? And it clicks in just like that. And on, on, on your spindle on the other side, there is a red on one side with a dot on it, and this clips onto that. Now, don't worry about the wires. We, we, will, we, will, uh, we will sort them out later on. Now, these have a little click on them so that they won't be easily removed, so they won't come out easy. And the black one goes on the opposite side, the other side. See the little red dot there, so we know where we are. Now is to do the Z one, which is the top one, C or Z as will, some people will call it. Uh, as far as I know, these, these are different. Yeah, they are different. There's a wide one. The wide one goes into the stepper motor. So this is the Z axis. So we will look. It's written very small there. So. Mm. They push in, they're hard enough to push in. But once it wants to go in, they're really hard. I had to get my two thumbs behind, thumb, sorry. I had to get my thumbs behind it. So first, because it's more difficult to get them in, and that's in there. And that's the Y. Now it's X, Y, and Z, X, Y, and Z. And on this side is the Y. So this one is going in here. Make sure it goes in that it won't pull out. And then we can strip this one back so that this one reaches to here. And that one goes to there. Now I need to, I need to do some settings on this because I have not set the limits on it. So it, it'll just keep going until I stop it. And this is working. Now, how about we do the Y? So there's the C-axis going up and down, and then stop, and with the spindle on. So that's the Gen Mitzi uh, by Science Smart. Uh, in the next video, we will, uh, I, will sh I will take you through how to set limits and all that sort of stuff on it and how to uh, set the z-axis and the y-axis on a piece of wood. And then uh, I think on the third one, I, I will make a spiral board for this. Uh, I, I have MDF, but the MDF I have at the moment is two, is only three quarters. I don't want that. I have some six mm. I have six millimeter or one quarter inch MDF and we are going to make a spiral board for this based on uh, some guy I saw online he, 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 he made this G code for how to make the spiral board and we will do that. What's I'll put a link to uh, ScienceMart and I'll put a link to Amazon, a uh, worldwide link and uh, thank you very very much for watching and if you like this video or any of our other videos uh, please consider subscribing.